right, so we're heading back out. We got some special guests with us today. We got Steven Stuckey. Stuckey Outdoors. Stuckey Outdoors. Mark Garland's up front. Corpus Christi PD's finest. Uh, we got Mike and Michelle back there running the, running their classic. Good winter time. Good morning, everything's setting up right. We fished the last few days and we had a substantial water drop from yesterday to today. Clearly six, seven inches maybe the water dropped out. Uh, yesterday we were catching them in knee deep. It's gonna be pretty shallow today. Um, those fish may have pulled off of that flat and they're gonna be in that little ridge or, or lull coming off of that flat for fishing. Hopefully it didn't mess things up too bad. Yeah, hopefully not. That was a good day yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of a lot of solid fish caught. Yeah. Didn't I mean it kind of changed a little bit, but I think I think the ball tail probably caught most of them. Ball tail was yeah. on fire. I was hard headed and stuck with the, with the uh, yeah you and me both <laughs> the wiggle stuck with the wiggle This one right here, it was. But you know I I talked them into it eventually. Or got some dumb ones to get. But, but we've got a uh, 62 degree water temperature yesterday. We're at 59, so the water temperature's coming up a little bit, which is good. Winds are going to shift from the north to the east today, which is fair from where we're going. Not, not critical. Uh, don't know much else other than the air here is a little better today than it was yesterday. So if, we, if those fish are still in there, they're probably going to be good. Let's hope so. Yeah, we were running a lot of moving around yesterday. Hopefully it's the same thing today. Just thoroughly working that area, you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to thoroughly work it here right now. If the winds kick up like they did yesterday, we'll be comfortable on the way in. Y'all may notice Captain Wayne probably got his uh, his new boat, so we're we're not roughing it anymore. Not roughing it anymore in the 18 Classic. So that run in yesterday was a lot smoother than it would have been if we were in the 18 Classic. But this boat performs really well in shallow water. You might be surprised, but I uh, have it rigged up with trim tabs, put um, wedges on it, and. Boat really does well. We were popped up maybe yesterday. No oh, yeah, I got up. No, and we were loaded down. We had a crew on here. Full full tank, five guy, five people. It was perfect. We got up quick. So, pretty happy with that. Today we'll, today we'll push it a little bit. Up in that shallow stuff. See what it does. at the boat ramp water fell out and uh, we have adjusted what I think is going to be the play but there's absolutely no bait at all working nothing it's dead um, so doesn't mean they're not here they just they could be could be down and I've got a jokester behind us but that's all right come come to expect that so we're just going to give it a little investigative wave through here and spread out and see if we can get something to happen Water 60 degrees. Um, water fell out last night, and now we're in about knee deep water um, where yesterday it was close to thigh. So maybe they fell out of that real shallow stuff in there here. We will see. Stuki, you ready? Yes, sir. All right, buddy. What are you going to throw, Stuki? Oh, dirty jalapeno will it tell. Yep. Never go wrong. Never go wrong with that? Yes, what sir. What you got on there? Got a 1 8 2 watt. Black nickel screw on jig head. Okay, awesome, dude. Let's do it. Been messing with this fish for like three casts. Jumped over my top water. Finally talked him into eating it. Yeah. 
Gotta be careful with top water. Take your time. Look at that. Easy does it. Now we're starting to see a little bit of bait. Maybe there. Maybe we can get some deep now. Some slow. Tuesday top water. Just like we talked about the boat, it's slow. Nothing's happening. Water's good. Wind's light. Water dropped. Looks good. Everything looks good. Just the water drop, but nothing is happening. There's bait in here. You can see it kind of flicker under the water, but it's very inactive. Just talked to a friend of mine who's also out and same thing tons of bait where they're at totally different part of the bay but no fish um, we've had like five trout on top water they're not eating it just slapping it um, same kind of scenario yesterday the one i just caught was a real plump fish had a mullet tail sticking out of his throat so he probably just hit it out of aggravation um, so we're going to stay with it you know we're it's winter time people are here for just one one big fish and uh, just takes one. And that's kind of what we're gonna be targeting all day. It's just plugging away at these little big fish zones and hopefully get one bite because we've had them bite the last week. We've had some really good fish. So I know we're in the area, we're in the zone. We just having to adjust based on water level, wind, boat traffic, different things like that. Um, so the drop, so we're moved out. Generally this right here is about right here on us maybe about that so it's about a six inch um, elevation drop so my thoughts were that the fish that were yesterday shallow moved out off this little lull and they very well might be here um, and they, a few little ones are so we're just gonna have to stay with this program until we kind of figure out what they want to do today every day is different Out ahead, Stooky. Kind of just picked it up and it started running towards me. Saw my line jump. Immediately I just started reeling. Eventually I hooked up. here fishing Port Mansfield Captain Wayne and my wife with us too out here throwing some uh, plum chartreuse ball tails working these grass pockets real slow kind of bumping it off the bottom really and letting it sit there and they'll just pick it up off the bottom the bites real easy coming off a bunch of days of some hard north wind waters dropped about a foot overnight bites real real light but it's there up a few 
nice fish here and here and there. A little chilly, drizzly. Water temperature is about 58 degrees with air temperature of about 60 degrees. We're just working these ball tails real slow over these grass beds, picking up some nice fish still. We're having to get a reaction out of them. They're naughty. Way to do that. For the knocker. They are not eating good. You've got to get them to react. Been experiencing this for several days now. Full of full of sea lice laying on the belly. Maybe I need a new boga. Knockers, Ruby Tuesday. Just a very subtle bite, working it real slow. Weighed about four and a half pounds, full of lice. A big old belly. Another good fish. Full energy. I got a big red on. That little bait. That is a ball tail junior y'all have heard us talk about these baits past videos they weren't out they're they're hand shot when they're testing plastics and colors and stuff like that and they're a hot commodity when it got to be tournament time we were calling the shop and asking the guys hey make us some make us some juniors make us some juniors and we would get them in oddball colors cream color just because it was just a amalgamation of colors but be watching for this bait now. They're getting pretty close. I think they're going to put them out. Um, get on the website, message them, see what colors y'all would like to have, what you'd like colors y'all would like to see them make. But I'm telling you, these ball tail juniors are going to be hot, 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 hot. And if you think you got to have a big bait to catch a big fish, keep telling yourself that. Right here in Port Massill, we're throwing the Big K. Big K, the red and white. We're out here just doing the simple pop pop. Redfish here. How are you working it? I'm just doing a simple pop pop, just keeping that bait just under the surface. That's what it was designed for. It darts side to side, which gets these redfish and trout to absolutely annihilate them. There we go. Nice redfish okay. once again. Uh, is he throwing that? Yeah. There we go. Remember, in the winter, fish is slow. What are you paying attention?
I can see this thing being a travesty. I barely hooked. Oh my gosh. Right in the top of the nose. Come here. Hold on, girl. One of those other hooks would get in there. <laughs> Come on. It's a good one right there for sure. So the wind's shifting out of the east now, and we're working these top waters real slow. You're, we're having some blow-ups, but we're usually only getting one shot, just one, not coming back for it, and they're not eating it. As you saw, that fish was hooked in the top right here, right there. But just a real heavy fish working these potholes. Water dropped out, but there's a few of them left up in here. That's what we're after. Real healthy fish. Let's go, go. This one's probably had the most sea lice on it all day that I've seen. Sitting at the bottom. Right here, because they're, yeah. Yeah, that hole was five. Just a little under five. That's a solid one. That's our Texas chicken ball tail. We did a limited run of those a while back. I just found the pack. We'll probably be bringing these back here shortly. No, we're working this little pothole right here. I had one good blow up. Then Mark just caught that nice five pounder. I decided to uh, go. put this ball tail back on. Now they got the wind in my back. Let's see if we can catch some more out of here. All right, we're coming in after a long day on the water. Um, again, we had Stuky here, Stephen Stuky. Mark Garland, Corpus Christi's finest right there. Um, ended up being a pretty good day. Yeah, every day is a new day. Uh, still caught a, a good number of fish and some good fish, quality fish. You know, Just, we worked with the water fell out on us. You know, there's a lot of variables that came into play, but, but here towards the end of the day, those fish were hitting those top waters out of spite or aggression. They were jumping out of the water. I mean, it was some cool stuff, and you usually just get one shot at them. You try to follow up in there, you couldn't get them you, sometimes, but it, it's a real funky bite. A lot, you know, a few fish were eating, but the majority weren't eating. They were reacting, and uh, we had low pressure. Everything was nice. Yeah. Weather-wise, water temperature 60. Yeah. No, this is top water action, frustration. Uh, 
even the soft plastics when you did get a bite just kind of a funky bite here and there you might get a good one but you know got managed to land a few anyway it was it was good i had a good time ended up in some real shallow water i'm um, obviously since it fell out um scb did well <laughs> yeah that's uh like a Cadillac on the water, going from that old 18 that we've been running in lately. <laughs> and we can see the water tent. We don't have to call somebody and ask them. Yeah, so all that, but another great day. Uh, wind shifted on us, kind of cut our weight off. We had, a, we had an idea, we had a destination on a weight, and we had a north wind, and then it shut us down. 